Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be checking out the Desk Pi light case from 52 Pi or Geeks Pi. So let's get started. Now, I do want to thank them for sending this over to me. This is a case that I want to review because this is the little sister of the case that we currently use for the Pi, Pi Hosted series, which is uh, this guy right over here. You've probably seen this on the channel a couple of times. This is by far my most favorite case for the Raspberry Pi because it's got the heat sink. You can stick in the SSD um, and it stands up or you can lay it flat and it's got an all aluminum construction. So it feels very sturdy when I play around with it. For the little sister or the little brother version or the light version, the only major difference that you're going to notice is that this does not have SSD support. All right, judging from this overall construction, it is made out of plastic. It's actually very easy to assemble. In the front of it, you actually get one power button and two USB 2s. And then on the back, you get the USB-C, two full-size HDMIs, the audio port, a 3.5 millimeter audio port, uh, and then the regular Raspberry Pi connections, which is the USB 2, USB 3, then the Ethernet. And that is it for the overall construction. Now, the SD card actually sits up in front, so if you, could, if you need to replace it easily, it's right there. It also has some transparent material over in the front, so you can see the parallel LED and the activity LED. On the bottom of this, you actually get four rubber feet, so it actually sticks to the table pretty well. And it also is mountable to a desktop monitor or a wall or something like that. So it does have those mounting brackets over here compared to this one where it doesn't have any mounts where you can mount it to a wall. This one you can. Overall, I really do like the construction of this guy. And this is actually hosting my second uh, Raspberry Pi 8 gigabyte. So this is the first one where I run my Pi hosted series and it's in here now. And this is the second version. Now it does come with a heatsink and a fan that you could slap right on top of the Raspberry Pi and the best thing about this is that they have this black rubber grommet that's hiding the 40 pin GPIOs and if you open that up automatically it reveals the 40 pin GPIOs and you can use it without having to take anything apart so I really like that when I'm testing something this is literally where my Raspberry Pi 8 gigabyte will be living in I'm not removing it from here anymore because <laughs> it just fits so well in here I can access everything that I need so anyway, I'm going to show you the assembly of this. All right, so here is all the packaging for the Desk Pi Lite. And inside the box, you get this instruction manual, I guess, on how to put everything together. And then the actual case itself. Now, the other parts are all embedded inside here. So you got to take it apart just to get the rest of the parts. And I'm going to be using my trusty screwdriver right here. Highly recommend you getting one of these. Um, power screwdrivers. If you don't, these are so amazing. It's, it's just got the buttons here. You got the torque on top and charging with USB-C. I'll leave a link to it if you guys are interested. It's just, I'm not sponsored or anything by them. It's just, these screwdrivers are so useful. So there's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws. That's a lot of screws. All right, there we have it. I'm just gonna leave all the screws like that on top. We got the thermal pads, uh, the actual connector on to the Raspberry Pi. And I do really like the fact that the they're using the OTG off the USB-C to get the USBs. Wow, that's a lot of acronyms. Then you have uh, this heatsink. Now I use a similar heatsink for my car project. Uh, actually 52 Pi was the one who sent it to me, but this one is uh, newer of their model where you can actually uh, it angles out the 40 pin GPIOs and it's built into this. You could technically take it apart, but everything mounts to it. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. And that's the case itself. So to plug it in, it's actually not rocket science. I'm just gonna pop in everything here. And I gotta say, this is the latest Raspberry Pi. I actually just bought this Raspberry Pi 8 gigabyte. And look at the quality control. I don't know if you could tell, but it's the ethernet plug is like aimed upward on this particular Raspberry Pi. So it's not, it's not sitting flush. Anyway, that's just my little tad bit of complaint. That is it. I just plugged that in. That was simple enough. Take this, slap on the heating pads, and it does come with two screws to mount that together. So. Technically, I should have done that first. But let's grab all the heat, the pads. Uh, we got this one, 
this one, and that is four. All right, two extra heating pads. You get this little clear thing that's also for the front over here, and two screws. Now, time to mount it on. I'm trying to line up the GPIOs. That's actually what's pushing this pressure down. All right, now we got this, and the fan's already connected. There's like a little connector there that plugs right into the GPIO, so it's very clean. It's right, the fan's already in there, everything's working. You don't have to look for any wires to connect. And that is it with this setup. All we need to do is connect this white little piece, which goes into the front over here, I believe, to get the LEDs working. Flip this over. Okay. It seems like I didn't plug this in good enough. I don't think I can go anymore. Oh, I can. Whoops. <laughs> that made sense. Yeah, you got to really push it in because the holes are in aligning and then there you go. Now all the holes are aligned and that's it. And that is it for the overall construction. Everything seems to line up pretty good. I'm off a little by one of the HDMIs, but otherwise uh, everything seems to be lined up. All right, so I've been using this for the past couple of days and I've been testing Manjaro for Raspberry Pi. And if you haven't done it recently, okay, it's really good. I actually used it before, I think in version 19 or something where it wasn't as polished as it is now. And now that I'm using it on this guy just to test it as a desktop application, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Also, now that I have this and the ability to unlock the 40 pin GPIO, I have an, I have an idea for my next video for this. I don't know if anybody's done this before, but first we get the two HDMI outputs, right? So that's two monitors right there. I also have one of these VGA666. This is something I bought like three years ago that I've never actually used, but imagine I could actually be able to plug this into the 40 pin GPIO, right? Right into here and actually run a third monitor. Anyway, that is it guys. I really do enjoy using this case. If you wanna check it out, I will leave all the links down in the description below. Also check out their Pro case because this is actually another favorite of mine. So between these two cases, yeah, that's all I really need. And again, I'm gonna be making this video for the third monitor to see if I'm able to do it. Um, I have doubts. Probably can't be able to do it because of the outputs and every. I don't know. I, I just have a doubt that it would happen. And if you want to see that video, uh, consider subscribing to this channel and turning on the bell notification icon so you know when that video is going to be out. Anyway, as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.